guys, welcome again sa ITS Information Technology Skills. Gusto mo bang mag BSIT? On this video, we're going to answer most asked questions about BSIT. So, let's start. Sa video na to, guys, um konti lang yung pinost ko dito na questions and pinili ko na lang kasi most of the questions magkakapareho lang naman sila ng thought. Kaya pinili ko na lang yung ipo-post dito na question. Okay? So, for the first question, this is from Zandro Francis Delgado. Ate, ano po bang strand ang kukunin nyo kapag BSIT ang pipiliin? STEM or TVL ICT? Then, we have the same question from Jean's husband. Tanong lang po, pwede po bang mag-IT kahit TVL kinuha nung grade 11 to 12? Okay, so before we answer that question, Tignan muna natin yung mga subjects na dinidiscuss sa STEM and TVL ICT. So, for STEM guys, ito po yung mga subjects na pinag-aaralan sa STEM na strand. Nakuha natin to sa .ed.ero.ph. So, kung gusto nyo tignan, pwede nyo lang din i-visit yung site na yun. Okay? So, dito sa baba, meron tayo ng mga subjects na yan. I-zoom in na lang natin. And ito naman yung TVL ICT. Okay? So, these are the subjects. Same, nakuha din natin to sa deped.edu.ph Kung titignan natin yung mga subjects sa STEM, okay, meron tayo dyan makikita ang calculus, biology, chemistry, physics. Ang STEM guys, nagpo-focus yan sa mathematics and science. Sa TVL ICT naman guys, kung titignan natin, meron tayo dyan computer system services, illustration, computer programming, drafting, animation. Okay, so which is, ito yung mga subjects talaga na mapapag-aralan nyo din kapag kukuha kayo ng BSIT. Okay? But in some colleges, na-accept din naman nila yung mga students na kumuha ng STEM na strand. Lalo-lalo na kapag ang kukunin nyo naman is BSCS, pwede, pwede talaga itong STEM na strand. Pero, I prefer kung kukuha kayo ng BSIT na course, magandang kunin is the TVL ICT. Kasi, magpo-focus talaga kayo sa programming. Okay? So, if we are going to talk about strand, TVL ICT ang pinaka maganda. Kasi, pag-aaralan nyo dito ang programming, animation, illustration. You're going to gain knowledge about database management system. And basic freehand drawing skills. Okay, kung gusto nyo kumuha ng animation. Then, digital illustration and sound design. And yung sabi ko nga, learn about animation. Okay, so it's a plus sign kapag kumuha ka ng ICT. And ang course na gusto mo is BSIT. Okay, pero kung nagtatanong kayo kung pwede ba mag-BSIT yung mga kumuha ng ibang strand, Yung ibang colleges or universities, nag accept pa rin sila ng mga students na ibang strand. Okay? So, kung yun yung tanong nyo, pwede po ba akong kumuha ng BSIT kahit strand ko is gas or other strand? Ang masasuggest ko guys is to visit the college or the university na pag enrollan nyo and dun nyo tanungin kung pwede yung strand na kinuha nyo. Okay? Then, we have question number 2. So, itong question number 2 na to, medyo madami siya. Okay? So, basahin natin siya isa-isa. So, galing tong question natin kay Jesus Rafael Rojas. Hello po, ano pong course na focus po siya sa software or programming or coding? Okay? So, ang course guys na nagpo-focus sa software, programming or coding, meron tayo dyang BSES, BSIT, Kung minsan, meron din yung engineering, okay? Then, meron siyang dagdag na question. Pag nag-IT po ba, pwede bang mag-specialize sa software? Of course, pwede ka mag-specialize ng software. And pwede ka din mag-specialize sa other part na mapapag-aralan nyo sa BSIT. Just like, kung gusto mo later on is maging web developer, pwede ka lang mag-specialize sa PHP, okay? Kung gusto mong maging mobile developer, game developer, pwede kang mag-specialize. It's up to you kung saan yung pinaka-focus mo later on. Then, next, meron naman siyang isang question pa. Kung hindi naman po, ano pong course na kukunin po, like, ikaw yung magde-develop ng applications like apps, games, software. Okay, so, ito yung sabi natin kanina. BSIT po, masasuggest ko kasi 
matuturuan kayo kung paano gumawa ng applications. And maliban sa uh, mga applications, guys, meron pa ang mga focus din ng BSIT, which is pwede mong i-specialize later on. Okay? Then, we have question number 3. So, galing po to kay Juzu. Ate, pag BSIT po yung course, pwede pa rin po bang mag software development or engineering? Okay, so, same ito kay question number 2 kanina. So, ngayon guys, tignan natin kung ano yung focus study ng BSIT student. Okay, so if you're going to get a BSIT na course, you're going to focus on computer utilization and computer software just like you're going to plan kung ano yung gagamitin na software, you're going to install the software, operate, manage, administer, and maintain information technology infrastructure. Then, maliban po dun, guys, you're going to deal with the design and development of computer-based information system for real-world solution. Okay, so ito yung sinabi ko kanina. Ito po yung mga pinag-aaralan ng BSIT, which is magiging software developer ka. Okay, so kung gusto mong gumawa ng isang system, software developer ka. Kung gusto mong gumawa ng isang website, magiging web developer. Okay, so, Then next, we have a question number 4. Galing naman to kay Ken's Gaming. Ano naman po ang similarities ng BSIT and BSIS? Okay, actually, nagawan ko na to ng video presentation in which ilalagay ko sa taas ng screen nyo or sa baba ng description box yung link para mapanood nyo yung the differences and similarities of BSIT and BSIS. Okay, so before natin ito sagutan guys, discuss muna natin ano ba pinagkaiba talaga ng BSIT and BSIS. So, ito guys, this is section 3 ng curriculum ng BSIT and BSIS. Nakuha natin ito sa ched.edu.ph. Okay, so dito guys, na-discuss kung ano yung mapapag-aralan kapag kumuha ka ng BSIT and BSIS. Okay, so kapag kumuha ka ng BSIT, you're going to study the utilization of computer and computer software. Okay, so just like planning, installation, customize, operation, management, administer, maintain information, and technology infrastructure. While sa BSIS, you're going to study the design and implementation of solutions that integrate information technology with business processes. Okay, so puntahan pa natin yung section 4. Yung sa section 4 naman guys, um, dito ang pinapakita kung ano yung preparation para sa isang BSIT student and BSIS student. Kapag ikaw BSIT student ka, the program prepares the student to be IT professional, be well versed on application, installation, operation, development, maintenance, and administration, and familiar with hardware, installation, operation, and maintenance. Yun po yung preparation ng isang BSIT student. While kung BSIS ka guys, the program prepares a student to be IT professional and be expert on design and implementation of IS or information system for business processes. So, kung titignan natin guys, yung BSIS meron siyang business processes. Okay? So, ang BSIS kasi siya yung nagko-connect ng technology and uh, businesses. Pero kung BSIT ka, pwede kang gumawa, mag-develop ng isang system. Pwede mong gamitin yung system. Pwede mong i-administer yung paggamit ng system. And mag-maintain ng system. Maliban sa system, meron ka ding hardware installations, operation, and maintenance. So, dun tayo sa similarities. Kasi yun yung tanong. Okay, so... So, ang similarities ng BSIT and BSIS, isama na rin natin ang BSCS is the competency standard. Okay? So, pare-pareho yung three courses na to, the personal skills and interpersonal skills no isang BSCS, BSIT, and BSIS graduate. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, Kapag ikaw ay isang graduate ng BSIT or BSIS, meron kang personal discipline skills, critical thinking skills, inter- and intrapersonal motivation skills, and others. Meron din tayo dun sa interpersonal skills, teamwork and collaboration skills, oral and written communication skills, conflict solution skills. So, yun po yung similarities ng BSIT and BSIS. Ngayon naman guys, another question na related sa BSIT and BSIS. 
Okay? So, currently, BS, IS student. Mas onti po ba ang job opportunity sa course na to? Okay, so, job opportunity sa BS, IS tayo, guys, or information system. Kapag ikaw ay isang BSIS graduate, pwede kang maging system trainer, support specialist, e-commerce developer, enterprise system manager, and business analyst. Kung titignan natin itong mga career opportunities for a BSIS student, it relates with the system and business. Okay? So, itong system trainer, ititrain mo yung mga empleyado ng isang business para gamitin yung system Alam naman natin yung support specialist, sila po yung pwede nating tawagan kapag meron tayong mga problema sa mga devices natin. Pwede kang maging e-commerce developer which is napaka-common ngayong araw na to. Okay, so basta technology and business, yun po yung information system. Okay, in which, kung titignan naman natin din, these career opportunities can be also available or pwede din kunin ng isang BSIT graduate. Okay? So, an another opportunity kapag BSIT graduate ka, pwede kang maging computer information research technologies, computer network architect, computer system analyst, information security analyst, and software developer. Okay? So, these are the career opportunities. So, now guys, kwentuhan muna tayo. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawa dito magkaibigan. Tanong nung isa sa kaibigan niya. Bro, ba't ka nag-IT? Ang sagot ng kaibigan, kasi balita ko, walang mat yun. Then, here I am. What? Walang mat ang IT? Okay, wala nga bang mat ang IT? That is the next question. Okay? That is question number 5. So, ngayon guys, tignan naman natin yung subjects na available sa BSIT. Nakuha natin itong mga subjects na to guys, sa ched.edu.ph. Okay? So, for the first year ng pagiging BSIT mo, tignan natin kung meron tayong mathematics. Okay? So, sa first sem, meron kayong makikita dyang algebra. Sa second sem, meron kayong makikita dyang trigonometry. Okay? And meron pa tayong mga social science, natural science na available dun sa BSIT na course. Then next, dito naman tayo sa second year ng pagiging BSIT mo. Meron kayong makikita dyang accounting principles and probability and statistics. So kung alam nyo guys, walang mat sa BSIT that's a myth, okay? Wala pong katotohanan yun. Kasi makikita natin, meron tayong algebra, trigonometry, probability and statistics, accounting. Meron pa tayong mga science in which meron siyang mathematics. Okay? So, the answer is, there is a math in VSIT. Okay? So, that's it guys. Those are the questions na natanong sa atin. Okay, so kung nakatulong tong video na to, don't forget to like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell kung gusto mo pang matuto about computer programming. Bye!